stocks on the continent recovered some of the previous day's losses on Thursday, with the exception of Italian issues, buoyed by news that Chinese and U.S. negotiators will restart talks aimed at resolving their trade standoff. At the invitation of the U.S., China's Vice Commerce Minister, Wang Xiaowen, will travel to Washington in late August and hold talks with his American counterparts, marking the first official contacts in two months. Following the announcement, Mohammed El Arian, chief economic advisor for Allianz, put the odds of reduced tensions at 60.0%. Against that backdrop, the benchmark stock 600 was up by 0.46% or 1.73 points at 381.43, alongside an advance of 0.61% or 74.16 points to 12,237.17 for the German DAX. Milan's FTSE Mibtel on the other hand finished 1.83% or 382.22 points lower at 20,524.13, pushed lower by the sharp rise in the country's 10-year government bond yields during the previous session, with the Milan Bourse having remained shut on Wednesday in observance of the Ascension Day holiday. Nevertheless, not all observers were quite as confident as El Arian, with IG's Joshua Matheny telling clients, while trade talks with China are set to resume later this month, there is likely to be a degree of skepticism over their ability to strike a deal given the already abrasive tone taken by economic advisor Kudlow today. The IG analyst was referring to U.S. National Economic Council chief, Larry Kudlow's, remarks to CNBC earlier that same day. Kudlow told the U.S. broadcaster, the Chinese government, in its totality, must not underestimate President Trump's toughness and willingness to continue this battle to eliminate tariffs and non-tariff barriers and quotas, to stop the theft of intellectual property and to stop the forced transfer of technology. Even so, the Chinese yuan was making small inroads against the U.S. dollar, with the greenback trading down by 0.71% to 6.8853 against the Asian currency. The U.S. dollar was holding lower against the Turkish lira too, shedding 1.56% to stand at 5.85, although it was off its earlier lows on the heels of remarks by U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who reportedly threatened more sanctions as jailed U.S. Pastor Andrew Brunson was not released. The economic calendar in the euro area was light on Thursday. Nevertheless, and as expected, Norway's central bank kept its main policy interest rate unchanged at 0.5%. Meanwhile, Eurostat reported that, in seasonally adjusted terms, the Eurozone's trade surplus shrank to 16.7 billion euros in June from 16.9 billion euros in May, consensus, 16.9 billion euros, amid big increases in both exports and imports versus the prior month. Worth noting, investors seem to brush off substantially weaker than expected readings on U.S. housing starts in the Philly Fed's manufacturing sector gauge for August.